Welcome back. In this video, we're going to practice using a bearing. There's a shaft in my graphic area. Let's expand the toolbox. ANSI metric, bearings, ball bearings. And let's bring in an instrument ball bearing. Just drag and drop it where I want to insert it in the graphic area. Here we see the specifications of the bearing. Bore diameter, outside diameter, and thickness. Number of balls, 20. Under Display, instead of Simplified, let's select Detailed. Now let's accept and cancel out of Insert Components. Let's insert a mate. Just zoom in, select this face and this face. OK. And cancel out of the Mates Property Manager. Now let's calculate how much life we can get from our bearing. Let's go to Toolbox and select the Bearing Calculator. First, we specify the units, whether imperial or metric. Let's use the metric system, SI. Système international. ANSI metric will be our standard. Instrument ball bearing. Let's select dash 15 as our bearing specification. OK. On the right side of the page, we select the reliability first. L is a basic rating of the bearing life in millions of revolution. So L10 gives us a 10% probability of failure. For our calculation, let's use L1. That gives us a 99% reliability. Now I'm going to specify the load. 1 Newton is about equal to 100 grams. Let's use 20 newtons. The speed will be 1,000 revolutions per minute. Now let's click Solve Life. As a result, we see the life in hours as 650,000, and that's about 75 years. Let's click Done. This concludes our video about working with bearings, and this also concludes our SolidWorks Toolbox course. Thank you for choosing VideoTutorials.net.